Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to Craft Plan Create. Today we're going to be doing some image transferring with clear packing tape. So you're going to need a few things. Here I have warm water. You can see the condensation visible on the lid from the warmth of the water. I'm going to also use this Birds and Blooms book from July 2022 that was gifted to me. Um, I'm also going to use, well you're also going to need, so you need images and you need um, paper to transfer the image onto later. You also need the clear packing tape, scissors, a towel, an easily clean surface because this is a super fun, really easy, albeit very, very messy project. So the first step you want to do is uh, take out the image that you want to use, tear a piece of clear packing tape to fit the image you want to transfer, then apply the tape directly onto the image. You want to reduce the amount of air bubbles between your image and the um, clear packing tape. So I'm going to use this um, crafter square craft scraper from the Dollar Tree and just scrape out as much of the air as possible from between the surfaces. And you can use anything, an old credit card, your fingers. The key thing is you just want that tape as flat as possible. The next thing you're going to do is cut the image and place it face down in the water. And then I usually let it soak between 30 seconds, a minute, but if it's a little longer, it's okay. So once the paper is finished soaking, you're gonna take it out, just dry the um, clear packing tape as much as possible and just start rubbing off the back of the image. It's a fairly easy thing to do. And if the paper dries out, all you have to do is dip your fingers in the water or you can dip the image in the water again and just continue rubbing until you have the clarity that you want. You're going to see me repeating this process over and over again in this video. Once the paper is rubbed off the back of the transferred image, allow the clear packing tape to air dry with the adhesive side up. I would also recommend wiping down your work surface often just because those little residual pieces do have adhesive mixed into it and it can easily keep grabbing onto your work surface. Once the packing tape is dry, it'll become sticky again and then it'll be ready to adhere to the surface you want to apply the transferred image to. So I salvaged um, the Trumpet of the Swan pages from an old discarded um, children's book and that is what I'm going to be applying my images to. Basically you want to cover the surface. So whatever part of the surface you want to cover, just keep cutting the transferred images until it's covered to your heart's desire. So here is all the image transferring on that page. Just up close and personal, take a look at it. I use big chunks and pieces, but then I chopped up those pieces and you can see that here and just kind of overlaid them wherever there was writing. And it looks really cool when you do like the layers upon layers. And in the back, I even use that little bit here, that like my residual piece. So I use the Victoria Velvet Tim Holtz ink on the edges, mainly because I felt like it complemented this pink here. And you can see I inked right on the paper that I'm going to use, but I did not ink the edges here. So yeah, there's no rhyme or reason. So I'm going to apply this piece of paper to the back side of this page with Tombow Mono double-sided adhesive. I'm going to align the page to the left of my other page and just begin to layer as I decorate. And as you can see here, there is um, writing really like down at the bottom that is not inked and that's fine. I took this little image and I just kind of ripped off this bottom part. If you want the white edge not to show, you're going to rip away from the torn edge that you want to keep. So let me get this. This is my first time using this. Okay. I do like this little, um, the fine tip. Ooh, that works really well. This is part of the magazine image that was like on those two pages, so. Oh, it sounds like you can really hear the wind outside. I need to mention that this image transfer technique only works with magazine images or inkjet printer images only. So if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with this cute little tag, I'm going to put it in the pocket of another journal that I made. I'm gonna layer it and put it right in here. 
And yes, when you open this up, look how cute that is. And you can journal right on top of it. So anyway, super fun, easy craft. I would only encourage you to make sure you have really good packing tape so that it retains the stickiness. The only drawback with this technique of image transferring is that it is gonna be very shiny, but it's very easy to use. And I don't know why it works. I don't know all the science, but it's really fun. So thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.